give you a quick look around the 7 inch Android tablet. The unit is very sleek, very neat to hold. It's got a 800 by 400 screen and the dimensions of the unit itself are 19 centimeters across, 12 inches, uh, sorry, 12 centimeters tall and it's about one and a half centimeters thick but that's beveled slightly if you can see uh, so at the edge it's, it's, it's sort of more like half a centimeter. It's a very nice sleek looking device. Looking around the side there's nothing on the on the bottom or or uh, left edge of the unit. On the top you've got a, a rocker which is actually your buttons for home and back and on the right hand edge you've got uh, a pinhole which is actually for reset, a uh, trans flash slot for uh, memory cards so you've got uh, any uh, your expandable storage with your memory card, USB, uh, physical power on and off switch so you can actually uh, turn the, the power off and on there as well as software buttons to, to turn the phone on uh, your headphone socket and the charge socket so a very neatly packaged device and the slot there is for the speakers this neat little pad incidentally is just the way that it comes packaged in the box and makes a, a nice way to demonstrate it on the table here so taking a look at uh, Android it's uh, a 1.5 build of Android which comes pretty much configured like this uh, with a, a clock and, and weather widget. Uh, I've added these apps uh, from the from the programs menu onto the onto the front screen, uh, but otherwise this is pretty much standard how it comes. Um, so you've got your normal normal Android functions such as uh, Gmail. Obviously you sign into your own uh, Google Mail account, uh, but I've signed into mine here just to give you an idea. Of, of how Gmail is, is working quite nicely. Uh, perhaps if we go into one of the emails, if I look for one that's maybe a little more exciting than just text. If we say show the pictures in there. There you are. In terms of browsing the internet, which I think is what uh, most people are using this sort of device for. We go into the main Android browser. Uh, you can install other browsers on here such as Dolphin, uh, the Opera browser or Skyfire. Uh, but this is just the, the standard Android browser. Uh, if we take a look, this has got installed on it uh, the, the better keyboard with iPhone skin. Uh, you can also change that to uh, standard Android keyboard just to show you what that looks like in layout. Uh, to show you screen rotation, if I just pop this out and flick that up for a moment, uh, you'll see the screen rotation is pretty quick. Um, for most of this demo I think I'll probably leave the unit lying down as it's easier to show you on the on the video. Uh, perhaps I'll do a few screen rotations for some of the web pages. Okay, let's take a little look at loading web pages. And there we are, the page is still loading there, but we can happily browse around that, uh, which is nice. I normally find on mobile phones that until the page is fully loaded, you're really quite stuck and can't do anything, but I can happily browse around this, this whole page uh, very nicely. Um, it isn't multi-touch, um, so I can't do a, a pinch to zoom, but uh, nonetheless, the uh, inbuilt zooming functionality of the, of the browser works, uh, responds very quickly. So we can do a look at the full page and move around quite nicely there. Um, one of the nice things about this device having uh, USB ports on it uh, is that supplied with the uh, device is a, uh, a USB, uh, a mini USB cable uh, that upgrades to a, a female USB socket. So we can actually uh, connect to that a keyboard. Uh, give you an example. So if we wanted to, uh, so for example, I could using the keyboard. Uh, type in a lot quicker if I want to go to another page. <coughs> uh, for 
example, YouTube. And then also then you can see the, uh, the multiple windows that you can switch between quite easily. Switch the the view to portrait. And switch back to YouTube. So browsing very competent there. Other built-in applications include Facebook. I'll take a quick look at that. Uh, I'm signed in here under my account, but just to give you an idea uh, about how the interface looks on the on the nice big screen here. Let's just take a look at that. Uh, if we were to go into one of the posts, write a comment. Uh, you're given in this build of Android uh, an on-screen back button, uh, but you also have uh, the back button at the top of the unit. Uh, you've also got the on-screen home button, um, as well as uh, a button at the top of the unit which functions as your, uh, uh, bring up your, your bottom menu, which is, is different for every application. You've got the Android Marketplace, so you can search in here for uh, new applications and downloads. So you can install anything off the Android Marketplace, so you've got full access to the Android Marketplace. Uh, you've also got on here documents to go. So you've got Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and PDF. Word, Excel, and PowerPoint you can create, uh, as well as read uh, existing documents and save them back to an SD card. And the, the PDF is just a PDF reader. Um, this application actually requires an SD card to be put into the device. Um, generally, Android, uh, most a lot of the applications are designed to, to have an SD card in the device. So although there is uh, uh, flash storage in, built in, um, you will you'll want to use a, a trans flash card to put, uh, to put things on. Uh, I've got a, an 8 gig trans flash card, so if we just pop that in. Goes in like that. Android will tell us we've got a trans flash card built in. So if we go to Documents to Go, uh, now we can go into Word to Go. Uh, we can create a new document, and we can type type anything we want in there. Uh, save that. It's uh, one of the latest versions of Documents to Go, so you can choose to save in Word 97 to 2004 or a Word uh, 2007 to 2008 if you're using the DocX uh, or XLX uh, extensions in your in your Office applications. Uh, <coughs> uh, just to show you also Excel to Go, uh, where I actually have uh, an Excel document already on the uh, micro SD card, and it's uh, an Excel document created in Excel 2007, so it's the Excel. XLS X extension and Documents to Go has no trouble loading that, uh, albeit a very uh, simple uh, spreadsheet. Um, all the data is there. Uh, some of the basic formatting changes that I've made, uh, some highlighted uh, rows are there, etc., uh, etc. Et um, and I can make changes to that, save that in Documents to Go back to the micro SD card and uh, use that on a, on a PC. Come out of there. You've also got Slideshow to go, which is uh, for compatibility with Microsoft PowerPoint. And I'm not a user of PowerPoint on the computer, so I certainly don't know. Uh. Lastly, you've got PDF to go, which is uh, solely a PDF reader and not for creation of PDF documents at all. Along the top of the device, you've got a software button. Uh, you've got the first one is for the home screen. So if we went into a, a page, we can get back to the home screen. Uh, you've also got uh, the settings button, which brings up the context sensitive menu at the bottom of the screen, and the back button. So uh, the, these two buttons actually have a, a hardware reflection on top uh, for back and for the, for the menu. The only button on the front of the device is effectively to turn the screen off and on 